Hello and welcome to The Studio Demands It, an exercise in creative thinking where we will conceptualize, craft, damn it. <laughs> read this how many you were, times. You were doing so good. What happened? Conceptualize, pitch, and craft a film or series based on the demands or stipulations from one of you listeners acting as a hypothetical Hollywood overlord. Hypothetical Hollywood overlord. As professional screenwriters and massive cinephiles, we talk movies all the time. All the time. And we'd like to believe that we could meet any demand thrown at us. We will be your screenwriters for this episode. I am TC DeWitt, and joining me, as always, is Jim... Generation X Factor Berzelic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you ever read that comic? X Factor? Yeah, no. Uh, uh, oh, why? Well, well, there was Generation you technically X. Technically combined two. I there. did. I did. There's yeah. Generation X, and then and X Factor. Did you read either of them? I did. I did. I did not read X Factor. I did read Generation X. Okay. Uh, I was drawn to the art. I can't remember who the artist was at the time, but I was like, "Ooh, this is not your daddy's X Men. <laughs> These are the cool kids." <laughs> uh, Jubilee's a vampire. <laughs> Oh, God, was she a vampire at that point? No, no, she didn't become a vampire for like a decade after, but... Okay. <laughs> uh, did you breaking, read X- Breaking my heart over here. X-Factor, was that multiple man, strong X-Factor, guy? X-Factor, it was at a certain point. It had several... Uh, uh, the X-Factor team changed several times. It started and went for like 70 issues mm-hmm. as the original five X-Men. Oh. Four? Five. Oh. Uh, well, Gene, Scott, Iceman, Bobby... Uh, uh, Iceman... Five, yeah. Beast, um... So the X Factor, the TV show, was based on no. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, um, yeah, the and top. then I wanted to read Generation X, uh, but I was already spending too much money on other comics, um, and uh, I had a chip on my shoulder about it because the comic that me and my best friend were writing, we <gasps> had named Generation X. Oh darn! Yeah, I had a character in sixth grade I created named Sub Zero. It was an oh. ice-based ninja. I had never heard of Mortal Kombat because I wasn't allowed to play violent video games. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to play video games. Then why did you make a ninja? Because <laughs> ninjas are cool. Ninjas, ninjas I are agree, cool. but how did you know about how them? I know about it. Because everyone was talking everyone was about, about the, these, these turtle ninjas. Yeah, Teenage Mutant mm-hmm. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I, uh, I Have I told you about my... I took the Ninja Turtles and gave them the Power Rangers... Outfits. No. So they were the Teenage Mighty Mutant Morphine Ninja Power Turtle Rangers. So no, I, you did I not. Would, You've I, never told me about that. The, I've never told you about the Teenage Mighty Mutant Morphine Ninja Power Turtle Rangers? No. Oh, my gosh. So it would be, it's the four Ninja Turtles, and then I would draw them, and then I would draw them in the Power Rangers costumes. Okay. So Leo is red. Leo, so did, Leonardo, did, they have, did they have their big buckle things that they, they yeah, would then yeah. get meccas? Yes. Yeah, so then what, they did had, they, what did they drive? What did they ride? They drove giant turtles. So there were turtles that drove giant turtles. Yeah. Did those turtles then Morph combine into, into a bigger turtle? No, they combined into a Voltron. Into a Voltron. Yeah. Did that Voltron look like one of the Ninja Turtles? Yeah. It had or a bandana. It, it, it had a bandana. It, just, it, had it, did, a bandana it did have a bandana. Eyes, yeah. Okay. But otherwise, it was a giant robot with a bandana. Okay. And then it had it had nunchucks. <laughs> that, that giant robot's wearing a bandana. Who, who could it be? Who, who was that masked man? That masked giant <laughs> mecha turtle. How do we get off of this? Back it's up. okay. Because you no, did a comic. Great. You did it's a comic awesome. called Generation X. Yes, yeah, I did. Uh, did you? Okay. What's your X factor? If you were, if you were a teenager who was going through an allegory of puberty, what would your mutation be? What oh, you, we just X- we, uh, uh, we just had the same mutations mostly as our favorite X Men character. Oh, so who are you? Um, but we had different origins, and and the powers were slightly differently. Obviously. Um. Wolverine was mine. You were straight up Wolverine. Yep. Did, weirdly, uh, I've but seen. But I wasn't. I wasn't a mutant. Uh, I was an alien, <gasps> uh, oh, uh, alien who had uh, claws that resembled more the Predator's claws. Mm. They did come out of Ooh, my but arms. They were jagged. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm sure. There's... Well, it's, it's because also the the uh, the science of it wasn't that they just were claws in my arms. They were actually bladders of biochemical <gasps> that, when it touched air, would solidify. How old were you? Sixth grade, uh, seventh grade? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of detail for a seventh grader to come up with. Well done. Well, thank you. I was a nerd. <laughs> you were. You were a nerd. <laughs> I my my superhero that I came up for myself was just the Flash. Yeah. His name was Kinetic. I like the idea that his name was just the Flash. <laughs> Call me 
just the Flash. <laughs> no, his name was Kinetic, and he could go super fast. Nice. And he was, he was, uh, um, a kind of a demigod, I guess. He was like Mother Earth was an entity, and she sure. like made her children, and and Kinetic was one of her one of her children's soldiers uh, that had superpowers. And then in in the comic book universe, I came up with all those like siblings sort of like a pantheon of characters had to like find each other Mm -hmm. once the realization was that they all came from the same source. Sure. Yeah. Hancock. Hancock. Oh, God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) No, he could fly. I went super fast. Yeah. 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 Hancock. My God. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Who's your, what was your friend's superpower? Uh, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember all his details, but uh, his favorite was Cyclops. So he could shoot. I beams concussive blasts. Uh, I don't know if we knew concussive blast at the time. They were just, I just remember I beams. I beams. Yeah. They were just lasers. Yeah. I don't remember when I f- learned. I, it, there was a time where I just thought Cyclops shot Superman lasers out of his eyes. And, Same. And then it was like, no, no, it's just concussive. So he's that red beam that he's hitting you with is like a really, really, really powerful laser pointer. Yeah. Can you imagine taking a laser pointer and just turn it on and you get hit like a beanbag? <laughs> Ow! Stop <laughs> pointing that laser pointer at me! Ow! Stop it! That would be playing with a cat a lot different if the cat get too close to the laser pointer. They just, <laughs> <boom. It> just, <laughs> just gets knocked across the room. They'd have all the more desire to catch that thing to destroy it because yeah, it keeps would. knocking it over. Yeah. <laughs> Concussive. Well, I laser. mean, if it worked that way, like as you moved it around the room, you would be <laughs> sweet. Like, imagine constantly throwing a baseball as hard as you can <laughs> in, you know, like a like a sweeping beam. No, it'd be more like a broomstick. It would just be like taking a broomstick and going like, <laughs> <laughs> just scraping it around. It's not hot. It's not hot. It's made of light. It's made of light. Then why are you hitting things with it? <laughs> Shut up. Boink, 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 boink. <laughs> and now we're slowly working our way towards the lightsaber. Yes, <laughs> make it so. Boy, a lightsaber would just be nothing but problem. I, there, I, I mean, actually, uh, what we're talking about is essentially hard light, and that is the entire basis of the holodeck. Oh, yeah. Get there, folks. Elon, come on, man. I know you're listening. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop, making, making, a... stop making de-resed trucks. Yeah, stop making un... un... <laughs> we don't need to go to Mars. Make a holodeck. <laughs> make a holodeck, damn it. We can go to Mars on the holodeck. Oh my god! Oh, it'd be so much better. <laughs> yeah, because then because you could breathe there, you, you wouldn't breathe. have to. <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about like, you know, dust getting in everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you just say, "Hey, computer, get this dust out of out of out of the way." Uh, it does not compute. Oh no! And now we have a holodeck episode. <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> All right. Let's give this a go, Jim. Let's get into our demands. Our Amazing listeners have given us demands from studios literally all over the world. And you, listening now, you can send us any demand you'd like, and we will have to meet them right here on the spot. And when we reach the end of the episode, if we've done our jobs, we will have pitched a full script and story meeting or even exceeding those demands. And when the end of the season comes, your demand could have helped us craft the script that will be greenlit by the fans for the finale. Thank you to everyone who keeps submitting and keep them coming. Today's demand caught my attention because it started with an ed- a, a note from from Ooh. the from the demander. So it's just an asterisk that said, uh, "TC, good luck on doing your best impression of Deadpool." <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I tipped my hand. You did. That's all right. Uh, this comes from Phil from Red Pants Production Studios. Do you suppose if this demand is about Deadpool, it will be meta conscious of the fact that it is a demand? And now I have asterisks. I am, in, I am in fact aware that I am a demand. And I'm aware that my movie and my comic and my game and my socks are all movies, comics, games, and socks. And, and, of, and so much more. Sorry, But I'm interrupting you. You were asking this podcast a question. By the way, two white guys with a movie podcast? Talk about a real Marquette and Joliet over here. Go on. Yes, this is a Deadpool demand. Not a great ride, Reynolds. I apologize. Two successful films. Two of the highest grossing R-rated movies of all time. Excuse me, number three and four, thank you very much. Number three and four highest grossing R-rated movies. The third will be one of two things. A third movie in this trilogy or the integration of Deadpool into the MCU. Now that we've seen the trailer, we know that that is the case. Yeah. 
Since the second came out two years after the first, the third would logically have come out in 2020 if the world made any sense anymore. But the world made any sense anymore. It's 2020. You two are asked to work with People Magazine's 2010 <laughs> Sexiest Man Alive to craft a third DP film. Pardon my French, folks. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. Because if you do, you'll find yourself on the business end of, and then it just says omitted. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I don't have a good Deadpool uh, uh, impersonation, <laughs> but <laughs> Phil, uh, Phil, Phil, I hope that uh, that was good, fun for you. Thank you for honestly. If you Here, want it, I don't know if I don't know if this would be applicable to defining Ryan Reynolds, but what your impression of Ryan Reynolds reminded me of? Go on. It sounded like Jim Carrey doing an impression of Chevy Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I could hear the Jim Carrey as I was yeah. doing it. Because I was just kind of doing an all already then with yeah, like a but, higher register. Uh, with a higher register and and with with speed, you weren't doing any voice stuff. You were just yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm wondering, what, how's Deadpool's like, oh, Deadpool over here? Oh, hey, hey, everyone. Would, he's kind of got be, this like condescending voice to him, right? Basically, yeah, he's a cross between Jim Carrey, a Canadian, yeah. and Chevy Chase. An asshole. An asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, Ryan. Canada's asshole. Wait, no, no, I love you, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> we we love you, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, it's it, okay. So thank you for the demand, Phil. Uh, also, you appeal to my sensibilities by doing a, a paragraph. <laughs> like that's that's that always catches my eye because it's hard to ignore when you see that much text on the screen, particularly with a note right at the top. Um, I'll work on my Ryan Reynolds Deadpool impression. Thank you. But Jim, a third Deadpool movie. Yes. Um, we've we we if going back to when we actually used Twitter before we decided to stop using Twitter because it's run by an animal and it and it's no longer called that and uh, that's I don't know any other name for it particularly oh. which coincidentally is oh so as far as you know that yeah. website is just gone yeah yeah yes yeah, it's a, it's it's an X factor I'm not willing to count for account for <laughs> <laughs> oh weird <laughs> how strange he would say that no uh, we've when we we after we saw Deadpool two ish I can't remember where it came along but the conversation of Deadpool three happening we theorized at the time mm -hmm. a logical place to go with it would be give him a kid mm -hmm. Deadpool yep that I mean the the marketing campaign is it, it writes makes it, it writes itself to have Deadpool like from the chin down to his waist with a baby Bjorn and a baby Deadpool with two machine guns in his hand like yeah that's fun yeah or like having a baby bassinet where you see a little baby Deadpool gloved hands coming out holding an Uzi uh -huh. like or a knife or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it seemed to be that that's where that they, um, Vanessa and yeah. Wade wanted to have a baby. Mm -hmm. He did form a family in the second one, but to actually I, give him a kid. So we recently rewatched the two. Yeah. yeah. And I think that that is actually the biggest point against doing Deadpool three Dadpool. Yeah. Is he already had the, the family there. So to do another movie to reiterate it, reiterate all honestly a lot of the same beats. Mm -hmm. um, might not be. That might not. Be yeah, it wouldn't be. Yeah. It would be. It would be repetitive. There. Our demander made a made a fair point here. Uh, at the time of the announcing of Deadpool, it was going to go one of two ways. It was either going to just be on its own little pocket universe, mm -hmm. or they were going to integrate it. We we know. They are integrating it. This mm -hmm. is going to be an MCU film proper. Yep. With all of its meta and uh, irreverent humor along the way. Mm -hmm. How do you want to proceed here? Do you want to craft what we think? We You've watched the trailer. I have not. I, I saw of. I saw the teaser. So you have a yeah. bit more information than I do. Like two sentences more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess my, my point stands. How do you want to proceed here? It's 2020. Yep. And we are being told to the, the 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 pandemic doesn't happen, so this can actually occur um, post Endgame, pre Disney Plus. No pandemic. No pandemic. <laughs> uh, WandaVision, Loki, all the things that have preceded do not exist. If 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 this if mm -hmm. we're doing this in 2020, um, do we integrate into MCU, or do we just do a third Deadpool? What do, how do you want to do this? That's that's my. I've asked it ten ten, ten different yep. ways at this point. Uh, because we're going back in time, albeit not too far, but we're still going back in time. I feel like it's 
one of our back in time episodes. Okay. So uh, uh, we incorporate it into the MCU. Mm-hmm. Um, we've not really touched on multiverse yet. Right. Because if it's, if it is pre. We've touched on time travel. Yeah. Because of Endgame. So like 2020 gave us. Yeah. WandaVision and Shang-Chi. Falcon and Winter Soldier, Far From Home. Like all of those came out post Endgame. Mm-hmm. So we would be integrating Wade into the MCU before all that, right? I believe so. Okay. So. Uh, Going to be quiet for a second as I look things up on the internet. <laughs> Are you trying to see what where this would slot in? Yeah. Here, I'll go to the. I will go to the, uh, the Wikipedia because that is going to have all the release dates. Okay. So, uh, yeah. There were no MC property, MCU properties cinematically released in the year 2020. What the hell's Marvel 616? I mean, that's the that's the universe that the comics are set in. Are you are you are you actually there was, asking? Oh, there was a documentary. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at th- I, I typed in MCU uh, 2020, and it gave me three titles, two of which are not actually in the MCU. The New Mutants and Hellstrom. <laughs> they were on Hulu. Hellstrom was on Hulu. Yep. But they were they were also those are Fox. Those are the mutant verse. Uh oops. <laughs> no, there there's no twenty twenty property. No, there's none. In the MCU. Except, was, except was, Hellstrom. So without without the pandemic, it would have been Black Widow. Correct. Which which is also a flashback movie. Yep. So that's that is that means that Deadpool sits comfortably post Endgame. Yep. Post Endgame, and then and then, uh, and then Spider Man Far From Home. Well, Spider Man Far From Home was twenty nineteen, and oh. then it would have been Deadpool. Oh, okay. Okay, so we are creating a Deadpool movie that exists in twenty twenty, pre multiversal saga. They knew the multiverse was going to be their next saga. They had already. Yeah. Had they this. even announced? I, I don't believe they had announced it yet. It just okay. was like the, the, ro- the roadmap didn't have. It just had Doctor Strange two. Yeah, and, and Black Widow uh, or uh, Black Panther two and yeah. Black Widow. Um, so Deadpool three could have been used to kickstart the multiverse saga in a, in a fashion. Going back in time, not having the knowledge that we have now, yeah. I know what I'd probably propose, and it would be trying to somehow marry. Fox's all of Fox's <sighs> mutant universe, yeah, okay. which would be acknowledged as one universe mm-hmm. into this one. <clears throat> I remember back then I had, um, I guess I don't remember if I ever pitched it, um, on, on Mike, um, my pitch to introduce mutants to the, the Marvel universe, uh, which couldn't have been done the way that they ended up doing infinity war and Endgame, mm-hmm. um, was to have a uh, 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 Thanos' snap um, <gasps> create it. it. It would basically end up creating or uh, 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 awakening uh, the X gene. Oh, okay, yeah. I I don't recall if you've ever said it on the show before, but yeah, that's that the idea that the snap would have been the, the trigger of all X factors. Yeah. So with that, I would I'd basically be doing a. Uh, uh, a Star Wars erasure of the extended universe, <laughs> um, e- uh, essentially erasing all the previous X Men movies and starting them all over right there in the MCU. I pro- I'm remembering I probably brought it up in the, in the Gambit episode. Okay, yeah. Um, because Gambit was was we supposed in- to introduce mutants Correct. into yes, yeah. into the MCU. Mm-hmm. Um, crap, I'm probably just going to end up pitching a bunch of Gambit. <laughs> well, uh, he- in this episode. Well, here's my question: if if the snap creates the x-men or creates mutants mm-hmm. deadpool has already been around since 2016 mutants already exist so how how do you marry the existing x universe and the mcu right you uh, yeah okay so i don't know if if your sell on that is gonna i'm not i don't know it, it. It, it, that's fine we don't have to buy that one but here here's a thought okay um that the snap, one of the, the the theories of the snap 
was um, a little bit like the Onslaught Heroes Reborn universe where everyone who had been deleted from existence actually went one, like was created a second oh, universe. sure. So that everyone who seemingly vanished and snapped. Uh, it was reversed for them. It was the reversed for them. Yeah. So like two different universes now existed where both sides thought the other, the other half had died, yeah. had been dusted out of existence. Yeah. Could we, could there be, okay, let's, let's try this. Thanos snaps and that mm-hmm. does happen. And all those characters are dropped into Deadpool's universe. So a Deadpool's, Deadpool's adjacent universe in the multiverse, which has Negasonic Teenage Warhead mm-hmm. and, uh, so, and Colossus. and Just thinking about the larger MCU in that universe. Yeah. That means uh, 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 half of these heroes appear suddenly in that universe. Technically, there's a Thanos somewhere out in the universe trying to kill half of everyone. Mm-hmm. And suddenly an extra half shows up. He is more motivated <laughs> to do so. Okay. I, I, that that that's fine. I'm, it's it's a it's a ramification. I just thought of. <laughs> He's even more motivated. This yeah, new like, Thanos. Like is... other universes are dropping more people into our universe. Sure. Yeah. No, we got to get rid of some people. We got to start snapping some fingers here. Uh, I I see some problem in that. That it's an existing universe that just gets like these people dumped in, yeah. as opposed to creating a pocket universe. So that's probably not the way to go. It's that that adds more explain this to us kind of scenario. So uh, I think the other way is just to do what the movies have always done. It became more apparent after Endgame because anytime you introduce a new hero, mm-hmm. it was as well, where were you? Right. Right. And that's becoming more of more of a problem with the MCU. Where have um, you been? The thing is, it was always that people, people even complained about it uh, uh, in stuff like uh, uh, Marvel civil war. Well, where was Thor? Right. Thor right, would right. care about these people. Yeah. He's not here because we're not telling his story. Yeah, but no, yeah, but call him up. Yeah. Call him up. Call him up. That, that's not how. Why? Why aren't they here? That's not how this works. Because that's not how. Not every movie is Avengers after Avengers. Yeah. Uh, when you go home from work, you don't get called in to all of your coworkers' uh, <laughs> it, drama. It, uh, it doesn't were, matter how friendly no, you are no, in the office. No. If you were a superhero, you'd be. Oh, oh, if you that, were a superhero, you'd be. Right. Yeah. Oh, because every every. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Uh, okay. So anyway, all of that is to say, I would just say the mutants have always been in this world. But the Fox mutants? Yeah. But how do you rationalize a freaking stadium getting lifted off the ground by Magneto or the Golden Gate Bridge being used to connect Alcatraz, like all of that stuff? What do you mean? How can that just have happened and, and not be acknowledged? Right, if you're saying the if you're saying the mutants, these X Men characters that we've watched ten movies of have always existed in this universe, why have they never been acknowledged? It's it's one thing to be like Captain Marvel wasn't acknowledged. We can write off one character because of X Y and Z, but we're talking about ten movies spanning forty years. Thor wasn't acknowledged in Iron Man two. Mm, I don't like it. I don't. Like it. I think it's I think it's too many hurdles to jump over. I think the the we okay. Deadpool two ends with him jumping through time and screwing up reality. He could just end his trip with a completely rewritten reality. So you want to rewrite the entire MCU based on the stinger portion of the sequel? <laughs> yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Um. I okay. I. I Here's some other here's some a couple another idea that struck me because you'd mentioned Thanos and the ramifications of that and his obsession and so on. And so I forth. mean, also, this is a Deadpool movie we're doing this through. Mm-hmm. Why wasn't any of that acknowledged? Deadpool can talk about that. He doesn't have to explain it. All he the way Deadpool would explain it is he would point it out. Yeah. Say, that's kind of weird. Isn't it weird how I've never been involved in any of this before? Um. And you just, I don't know, you do stuff like, yeah, why didn't uh, 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 Tony Stark lived in L.A. for how many years? Why did he never acknowledge that the Golden Gate Bridge was lifted up and thrown around and stuff? And then you just have whoever he's talking to uh, uh, be like, we put it back. (laughs) (laughs) Mm, I'm not loving that. Why not? 
it's just it's too much explanation. It feels like too much explanation, even with really? Deadpool being able to acknowledge this, that, and the other. Okay. I don't know. I you'd have to sell me on it. I, I'm I'm not sold. Is the thing okay? Like not only that, it's it's hand waving some stuff, and I'm fine. Deadpool's capable of doing that, but how do we work that into the grander plot of this movie? That we're in a different category now of like, what's sure. the story here? Yep. Right now, we're just spending time trying to figure out how to insert him into the MCU with with X Men characters and cramming it all together, and we're spending our time doing that right now, uh, which is important, obviously, if we're going to integrate him to the MCU. But it doesn't feel elegant. It doesn't feel... It just feels really, really ham-fisted. Well, I don't know. I I don't know. It feels, it feels less ham-fisted than most of the other things. It fe- is, it, is it possible to... I don't know. It feels less ham-fisted than what... Even in my opinion, than what they're going to do, which is just say, oh, they're from another reality and now they're here. We're keeping the ones we like. We're getting rid of the ones we don't. <laughs> uh, oh, also, no, that's the other thing. Mutants have been here. They just haven't been acknowledged, right? Uh, yeah. uh, at the point that we're making this, we don't know any of this. Right. However, Miss Mar- uh, Miss Marvel Ms. is a mutant. a mutant. Yep. Um, um, they Namor. say it like two or three Namor. times. Namor. Namor's a mutant. Namor's a mutant. Yep. Um, right. So mutants have been around for hundreds of years. <clears throat> Is there Based a way, on Namor. Okay, is there a way to cherry pick the Fox X Men universe? Dead Deadpool, everything that happened in Deadpool one and two happened in the MCU. Let's say that. Let's start sure. there. Everything that happened in X Men in Deadpool one and two happened in the MCU. They fought on a helicarrier at the end of the first one, which is a fun Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're on a shield helicarrier. Deadpool exists. The the acknowledgement of the X Men and the X Mansion. And we see the McAvoy X-Men mm-hmm. through a door. Yep. <clears throat> um, Days of Future Past rewrote the X-Men history, erased, right. erased some MCU of, already has time travel shenan- shenanigans. Right. Okay. Having those X-Men in the mansion in the year 2016, 20, uh, 2018... And they are still the young versions of themselves. Like, there's a lot of confusing yeah. stuff in this act. Which is the other reason why yeah. we're doing a Deadpool movie. We don't have to worry about the details too much. Yeah. Like, as far like if you want a more concrete, serious explanation of where were all of the major mutant shenanigans, mm-hmm. it it puts our uh, it puts a good guy in a gray, very gray problem potentially bad guy position. Yes. Xavier's been racing, erasing everyone's minds. That seems like Charles's MO. In the history of the X-Men, Charles has been more of a bad guy than a good guy anyway. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with that, but... I'm going... Eh, whatever. I'm yeah. kind of... I'm just being silly. Uh, but, well, no, but in the comics, there yeah. are points where he has been written in a way that he is a self-righteous asshole yeah. who can and does control thousands of... Hundreds of thousands, millions of people's minds. Right, he's he's done it before, and he'll do it again. Yeah, I got an idea. I have I have a, I have a pitch here. Pitch me. Okay, we open up the movie with all of the X Men we can get that we've seen in in the films up to up to the point of twenty nineteen. You're giving me ideas. Okay, and and Deadpool Colossus is is called Deadpool up and said, we've got a battle. You need to get here now. And we see the Fox X-Men endgame battle against Thanos. Okay. We are not in the MCU. We are in this pac- this X-Men okay. universe. Yeah. And the the final battle of Thanos versus the X-Men is our opening of this movie. Deadpool shows up, and Thanos snaps and wins, and all of reality is erased. Everyone's dusted. Deadpool's dusted. But he doesn't die. He goes into the void and is met by death. Death, in the comics, is in love with Deadpool. Yeah. And death sends Deadpool back to reality, but in the MCU. So There's, we're only putting Deadpool in. That this is just this is just off the top of my dome here. Uh huh. That if you open up the movie with an end game, uh, with end game happening, but it's only the X Men that we know, with other, other cameos you yep. want to throw in there, Shatterstar's back. I don't know. Just like Deadpool to the rescue, and boom, he dies. Uh-huh. It's like 
Oh, well, didn't see that coming. Ah, uh, where am I? Oh, uh, this is one way to start a movie. It's bigger, it's badder. This is, th- you thought Endgame was good, like just some... Uh, yeah, yeah. And then falling in love with death or so. I th- That's what I got. What do you, I see where you're going. So you said there, you were getting something that, there. You were getting oh, ideas the, as I was talking. The idea is, uh, uh, the the idea was as sort of an opening montage. We actually see Deadpool involved in like all of the pivotal points in the story, mm. and then of, of Endgame of of the Marvel MCU. Oh God! Like he was there in Avengers fighting the the um the Shatari. Shatari, yeah. Uh, he was there uh, uh, fighting Ultron. He was. Uh, 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 he 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 was he was there lo- like along along the way having all the adventures. So um, like Rosencrantz and Gilderstern. No, not even like in the background. He, he is there, there. Okay. with them, and at, like, uh, and it would be scenes like uh, basically uh, 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 CG matting Deadpool into these scenes into these moments. Yeah, um, where, where where Captain America goes. Uh, I, I I understand that reference. He does. He does understand that reference. That, that kind of thing. <laughs> that yeah. Sort of thing, yeah. Um, isn't that you, isn't that cute? Grandpa's learning. Um, <laughs> okay. You, you, you can still teach an old dog new tricks. Okay. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then it's Thanos's snap that would, um, erase him from mm. all of that. Okay. I don't know how or why, I don't know why that would erase him. But that, that was the idea. Like, like that's how you started. Like he's always been here. Mm-hmm. Don't question it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then have a thing um, or, or or have the snap get rid of all the mutants or something like that to suggest that's why this is the world you remember. Um, so so somehow the snap, which was supposed to be random, mm-hmm. was biased against mutants. <laughs> it got rid of all mutants and then every, then other people. <laughs> Classic. Um, <laughs> Those poor mutants. Uh, I like I like yours. Uh, what we what it does is it creates a stranger in a strange land story and world. Mm-hmm. Death is in love with him, so now the the thing is Deadpool doesn't die. I like in the comics he does. That's why he meets Death and stuff. Yeah, and he um, tried to die in Deadpool too. He did, but he didn't die. Right, and and I think that's why Death loves him is that it's the one soul she can't claim. So she throws him into this other universe. I don't know why that is, but I'm going to talk about what I what I do like and where I where the the things I see possibly going. She likes this guy, and so she wants to see him keep not dying, or she wants to see him possibly die. Yeah. And here's a way that he might possibly die, um, and maybe that's the 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 full story, or maybe there's someone in this world, someone in the MCU, we can find who can't die, mm-hmm. and so that's why she pulled him from another world is to kill this person. I'm hiring you to go down there and kill. Yeah. Because uh, he is he is a merc, merc for hire. <laughs> that's true, but he's a good guy now. He's a hero. Yeah, they, he still takes jobs, though. He does still take jobs. Um, um, okay. That's the idea. And the, the whole in love with him doesn't have to be reciprocated. He does not have to love death back. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but he, need, he needs to do whatever he needs to do to get back to his world. Where his family, yeah, is. Vanessa, Colossus, yeah, you know, his two lovers. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, having an Endgame style opening where Deadpool is, where all of existence is deleted, he ends up by death. She's like fascinated by him, and he's like, "Send, send me back." Does she? Is there? Okay, do we have her in, say, "No, no, I'm going to send you here for reasons," or "Sure, I'll send you back." And sends him to the wrong universe. Uh, okay. And um, I like the notion that you had suggested that he's always been there. Um, I I going with your story of death sending him elsewhere. Yeah. I don't like that as much. Uh, and and even thinking, I think a, a fun way to open it would actually not be with Deadpool's montage. Mm-hmm. Instead, it, well, you, it would involve a lot of Deadpool, but we're going to see a montage of. Deadpool one and two and maybe a couple other things thrown in there, but this time we're going to put death watching. Oh, watching the whole She's time. She's watching and we see her falling in love with this guy. Like, mm. uh, like we see her taking souls of other people in those scenes. Is it? It's but like not slow, this guy. Slow mo. It's like, hello, <laughs> is it me you're looking for? That, that's perfect. Because he's killing and she's just like, yeah. 
swoon. Yes, like that she is, just loves the way he works. That is perfect. Uh, and so, do we? Do you, <laughs> that's the song too. That's the. Yeah. Uh, do you like the notion of getting to an end game and then meeting death and so forth, or are you erase like getting rid of that? Just oh, saying, oh, she I plucks him saying. from reality. Ah. Uh, like the the loss of the entire universe kind of thing, and she snatches. I him. like them all. What what do you what do you want to do? I, I I like the idea of okay, opening end game, boom, Thanos wins, some snap, erases all reality, Deadpool is plucked into the void, meets death, and then our opening credits is watching death falling in love with him. Or mm. strike that, reverse it, we open with her fast montage. falling in love with him and leading up to Endgame, snap, then she talks to him. That's probably the way to go. Yes, because then we we don't need uh, as many actors because we can just have them be from like like from behind Seen from CG the back, yeah. CG uh, uh, dolls yeah. flying around the scene. So we see Deadpool one and two up to Endgame, the end of all existence. Deadpool meets death. And yeah. death is like, you are a specimen. I know. I've said it before. <laughs> uh, but I need to get back to my family. You're, uh, that's all gone. That's all gone. What What do you mean that's all gone? Um, the, that purple grimace looking guy, he, he erased all of existence. Uh, yeah. Whoa, I thought he was only going to do half. Uh, well, sounds like for the purpose of this movie, it had to be everything. <laughs> um, so then... T- she- tell me if... if, if- Tell me if I cut you in half, would you could you keep going? Strike that. If you cut someone else in <laughs> half. <laughs> well, I want you to stay. I want you to could could she strike a bargain with him to kill, 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 kill in order to earn his universe back? Something like that? Like uh, make a bargain with death to get his family and his universe back? Sure. Um uh, now uh, another aspect that I kind of liked is he doesn't necessarily love her back and resents her for doing this. She's right. she, uh, she is death. She is using, she uses beings for her purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not about fairness or anything. No, I want you to do this and I like you. So I'm going to do this stuff. So essentially Deadpool has to deal with this cosmic being has to try to make deals um, to get it done. So a bit of like, Bill and Ted bogus journey kind of stuff where it's like maybe yeah, yeah. maybe even maybe even that reference in the movie to have yeah. them play should we play chess twister what are the other games Bill and Ted played sure uh, yeah um yeah, okay oh yeah like maybe she says I have I have a hit list for you mm-hmm. so she's gonna send him to the MCU and we can come up with five people who can't die that Deadpool has to kill immortal characters in the MCU um, the first at the top of my head, Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal. <laughs> uh, well, you're right. Mr. Immortal is one of the, the unkillable characters. Hulk. Hulk is immortal, yep. Um, um, uh, Wolverine is immortal. Thor, Ben Grimm, Franklin Richards, Galactus. Uh, he, here's, here's, here's a thought. Um, could... Okay, I don't know where to, I don't know exactly Most how to. Most of those were good guys. Yeah, that's that is funnier. <laughs> um, I don't quite know how to integrate this, but here's a pitch: sending Deadpool into the MCU. Your idea of him always being there mm-hmm. is a fun idea. Having him go be sent through the history of the MCU to make sure the MCU unfolds. So you want a Rosencrantz and Gilmore? Kind of, yeah. Which, which I, I think, without knowing too much about what Wolverine, Deadpool, Wolverine is going to be. I do think there's a possibility that that's what Deadpool and Wolverine's going to be. Yeah. That there's a chance that that Deadpool and Wolverine have been in the MCU, hopping through time and space since the beginning, mm-hmm. and have been the reason of the of for success to get to Thanos and so on. The, the, the one in a million th- Doctor Strange chance. I think so. So, do we want to pitch what we think the movie's going to be doing, <laughs> essentially? Well, or do we want to try to purposely do something different I, I well the the reason i even go with the rose i would love to see like deadpool is sent to iron man one has to do a thing and gets killed and is sent back to to death she's like great i'm going to send you to the next spot and he just keeps going to places doing a thing and getting killed and sent back okay uh i don't i don't that's just that's just the the, the idea that has come to me now um but maybe that's not the way to go maybe the way to go 
she sends him to the MCU. Okay, so now where in the MCU? Post Endgame MCU? Is he well, now? Uh, th- ooh, actually, that would be easiest. I was. Uh, uh, oh, actually, I guess I wasn't thinking anything. Thinking along your lines, where if she's jumping through time, that's the other thing. Like, it would be fun to go into each each of the movies and actually if we go through time it almost might might be disappointing if we don't so maybe it should be post end game okay um i still think a way to go is to have him he's supposed he's given a hit list yes i like that i think take out five different people that just won't die so it can be worded that way they just won't die yeah and it doesn't mean they can't picking five i'd say pick four Sure. Like Shatterstar level characters, maybe we and could, then, we technically could even invent characters. But the whole idea is ultimately be, because Deadpool is a good guy here. We don't choose good guys, right? So his hit list isn't Mister Immortal and Hulk and Ben Wo- Grimm, and, Wonder Man. Uh, uh, it it can be bad guys. It can be like so Thanos. Like oh, like she could even say it. Thanos. That's a thing. I that can't happen. For a number of reasons. First of all, it creates a lot of work for me, and I don't want to do that much work right. all at once. So there's some dudes mm-hmm. that are on that level, and I want you to get rid of them. I think I got three in mind. Okay. I th- okay. F- uh, four. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay. Here, here's here's four. Four, four is four is all we needed. Four. Okay. Mister Sinister. Mr. Sinister exists in the MCU as someone like the Nathaniel Essex, right? He's obsessed okay, with yeah. with the X Factor, the X Gene. Like mm-hmm. we we could use this to establish that in the MCU, mutants do exist. They're just like very hidden. They've always been around. And Mr. Sinister is someone who's like been messing around. I'm gonna let you finish your list. Yeah, and then uh, and then I'm gonna bring up uh, concerns. Okay, go ahead. Uh, killing Mr. Sinister. Um, uh, Oh, uh, Madam Web, <laughs> who's technically a good guy, but Death okay. doesn't like Madam Web for one reason or another. Um, uh, Adam Warlock, who's also a hero. Yeah. I, I'm, Although I'm, not in 2020. Not in 20. He hasn't appeared. He doesn't yet. exist yet. Yeah. The only time we've seen him is in his cocoon at the end of Guardians Two. But we've seen his cocoon. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh. There's two other characters that I think Death would want to kill. Uatu, the Watcher. Okay. And Charles Xavier. Okay. So if 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 so it's it's these five names and and he's going to check the list off as he goes when he finds Charles Xavier recast it. So it's not McAvoy, it's not Stuart so sure. that he can be like, oh, another one of you guys, these things just keep get more and more confusing." <laughs> and and it's I don't know. Those, those. I would, just... I would have thought you went with the guy from the office. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The uh, Moon that, Knight, maybe. A f- I, future joke. You're right. Like it's easier to think of immortal characters that are good guys. Yeah. And then Deadpool. It, it, my on my list, the only definitive bad guy is Mister Sinister. What are your concerns? Um, my concerns is killing named characters like that. Yeah. Mister Sinister can, and and uh, can be a major X Men villain. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and may, maybe this is just a gym concern. I, I'm always loath to kill characters, although the MCU has has done it consistently. Right. Because um, I got I I guess I, it's I'll also kill, movies I'll, and comics yeah. and characters can always come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill a character for you. Yeah. Red Hulk. Yes, please. <laughs> Everyone's excited about that trailer, including me, <laughs> except for that last moment. Yeah. <laughs> Red uh. Hulk. Is my Sam Worthington of the Marvel Universe? <laughs> um, I I like the idea of the hit list. I don't know what that hit list should be, but I do think sending him down there to take. I was out... think we can just make up people like they make up Fire Fist. Fire Fist from from Deadpool from Two. Deadpool Two is Fire Fist. Oh right, because they they the um he'll always be Ricky Baker to me from Hunt for the Wilder People. Fire Fists. Is he not from the comics? Not that I think. Rusty that I Collins, know. aka Firefist. Oh, he is. Is 
from the comics. Well, what the? What do He's I know? He's from 1986 okay, from X Factor, Jim, your favorite comic. My favorite one. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That, that, okay, so yeah. I'm wrong, and that's okay. I'm wrong a lot. Well, let's. Um, I've never seen it. Um, let's do this. <laughs> I like the idea of a hit list. Uh huh. Why don't we take a break here? Come, okay. up, come up with those five characters, and now we have our plot to play with. I mean, I am also okay with those five characters. Maybe that's what the movie is about, is working around them. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's let's think on it right Although now. Although there's reasons to not re- hit, hit the same themes, but okay. Yeah, let's, let's, let's take a break here, grab some water, uh, think about this. I think we've got enough steam rolling here that there's something to play with. Uh, and I, break. 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 That was it. That was when he clapped. That was it. Break. I have ideas, Jim. I, I'm coming back. I have ideas. Because you like the five like five characters I came up with. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's just recap real quick. So Deadpool exists in an, an, a pocket. X Men universe end game happens against in the, Thanos. In the universe we know him in. Yeah, yes. we get they get their end game moments and they lose. Mm-hmm. And Deadpool is whisked away by death. Mm-hmm. And death strikes a bargain with Wade and says, "If you kill these five characters for me, <laughs> these five individuals for mm-hmm. me, I will resurrect your universe and give you your family back." He wants he wants his he wants his world and family back. Can she can she word it in such a way that she's like, he's like, I want my universe back, I want my family back. And she strikes a bargain and says, if you do this, I'll give you your family back. Sure. Okay. So then she can loophole it later and give him his family back, but not his universe. Sure. So he he's like, remind me who your family is again, Vanessa. And I, I can ret- I can return you to your family. Yeah. And then I can reunite you with your family. And then the 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 handful of characters that we want from Deadpool are put in the MCU. I don't think uh, we even need to do that. It it actually might even be fun if at the very end, when death does that, yeah, uh, and, and pulls pulls the ah, I said your family, and yeah. here's your family. He's like, no, no, my family is way more than that. In it, it is an extended, extended lineage, and like have <gasps> me like this person, fine, boop, this person, boop, boop this, this person, person, boop, boop. Does does Deadpool populate the MCU with all the with all the mutants? Uh, with a a, a number of characters. That we know and want there, and I don't think it would be like, and oh. there, that's everyone. Oh, no. You do almost yeah. like a fadeaway kind of thing yeah. to suggest one. it could and be, this one. it could this be one. whoever we eventually want. And to you introduce. know what the last but not least is? Hmm. Wolverine. Hugh oh, Jackman. he wouldn't be. No, he would be like almost first. You don't think it would be a fun like moment for the audience to go? He's listening all these characters, listening all these characters. Uh, don't forget World Se- People's Sexiest Man of the, of the Year 2010, Ryan Reynolds, and also People Magazine Sexiest Man of the Year 2011, Hugh Jackman, and so on and so forth. And he's like popping out, and then fade out, fade out. I was like, oh, and of course, and then the last shot is is Wolverine appearing next to Tom Holland, Spider Man, and and Carol Danvers. Uh, or, sure, uh, yeah. I I just I I would want it to fade away. I would. Uh, uh... With him still naming names. I, oh, I yeah, that's what I'm saying. To... Fade all the way out. And then, oh, wait, one more. And oh, then, oh and I then, see what you're saying. And then Hugh Jackman appears as Wolverine at the end of the movie in a, sure. in a single cameo. Sure, yeah. So then now Wolf, Hugh Jackman Wolverine exists in the MCU. There you go. That's that's my the final, like, oh, of course, obviously. You didn't think I wouldn't do that, did you? So that's an idea. Does that feel like a fun way of putting mutants in the MCU, though? <laughs> Not entirely, no. <laughs> <laughs> I... I'd, I don't think so. No, I think that's a fun way to like end this character, this character, this character. It doesn't have to be that. He could be like, how about we get Stan back in there? Uh, how about a, a little old man with a mustache and glasses who just is always popping up and saying things? Yeah. I like the gag. I don't, I think there's a way to finesse it. Sure. But ultimately, she monkey, claw, monkey paws him, gives him his family back, but in the MCU. She's that's like, my thought. Yeah. Because I oh, also want to say this, Thanos is in love with death as well. So the Thanos who snaps in the Fox universe does it to kill everything as a way to appease her, not to split it. Was in that half. Thanos's original goal I, in, the, in, the, in, in the comic? In the it comics. Was, it was to kill everything? He's just so in love with, with death that he's trying to 
yeah. woo her with killing things. And so that's the Thanos we introduce at the beginning of this thing. Yeah. Actually, that's especially funny because then when she meets him, he's like, wait, who was that purple guy? <laughs> or, or maybe he's even there. Yeah. And the whole time she's like, ugh, you are so gross. <laughs> <laughs> and we could even cast someone else as Thanos. It Not doesn't Josh have Brolin. to be Josh Brolin. Josh Gad. <laughs> <laughs> You know I love Josh Gad. I love Josh Gad. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, Death, the... it's me, Thanos. <laughs> I killed the universe for you. Death, I love you. I love you. Uh, Thanos, <laughs> in the comics, Infinity War comics, Thanos was trying to retrieve the, the gems to yes. impress Death. That was his mo- motive. Be- but he does believe that it's the universe is overpopulated and headed for extinction, and and he wages this so, genocidal campaign to attempt to please her. So, so there was no end to it. It was just yeah. going to kill until she loves me. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I get that motivation. Yeah. yeah I've well, been there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she strikes a bargain with him. The bargain is on this universe, this, this Earth, uh-huh. they've just had their whole Thanos thing, and they survived. They won. They beat him. And now there are five, these five individuals won't die and you need to go down there and take care of business. Yeah. Okay. So the, the characters that he then faces off against can establish some scope of the idea of mutants within the universe. Sure. That have always been there. That's why I put Mr. Sinister on the list. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put Mr. Sinister first. Mr. Sinister is the first one he goes after. And we can have him in all of his comic book looking glory. <laughs> Essex Industries is hinted at at the end of the Wolverine. Okay. The there's a the Stinger has him with a case. There's a case of goo in it, and it's uh it's Essex Industries, which is okay. Mister Sinister. But getting down, we have an MCU Mister Sinister who's been experimenting on mutants, and Deadpool doesn't like people who experiment on mutants. That's true. That's what Francis did. Yep. So we have our first uh, post-opening credits battle, which is Deadpool versus Mr. Sinister. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Deadpool wins. Mm-hmm. Uh, next on the list would be... Oh, in the midst of this, Deadpool is essentially <laughs> kind of going a serial I killer. I killed your Dracula for you. <laughs> I killed your Dracula for you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do we want any... Colossus type like Colossus is the moral compass of Deadpool in the first two movies are we going to give like Falcon or Bucky or some some no offense lower tier hero to try to like investigate Deadpool do we bring Coulson in or something like do we have do we have uh, Maria Hill and Nick Fury who we just saw in Far From Home and they were not them they were Skrulls so maybe we don't do that do we have a hero character trying to stop Deadpool. Mm. Um. I I think we should. I don't there, know what that is. Are there any heroes? Who are there any heroes that? Uh, we're not jumping through time, so it doesn't have to be a time jumping hero. Um. Who, is there like a like a Judge Dread kind of character? A character like it doesn't. I don't care whose list they're on. I don't care what they've done. You can't just go around killing people. Punisher? Punisher. You're right. That Well, no, sort of, because the Punisher also goes around killing people. <laughs> True. <laughs> Why? Yeah, and we did just have Cable trying to, try, like, mm-hmm. as a, as they weren't, they were in conflict with each other and having, like, a stoic, badass mm-hmm. dude. We'd have to find a different way to do that. Uh, because our second... I didn't know the ju- the Great Lakes Avengers headquarters were in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but that, uh, Clearly, I have not talked about Great Lakes had, Avengers enough. We did a whole episode about it, and I still didn't know that. <laughs> okay. The second name on the list is Mr. Immortal, who uh-huh. we do eventually see in She-Hulk. Yes. Uh, but that doesn't exist yet. Yep. So Mr. Immortal could be the like full red, white, and blue suited guy so in my mind what i would do there is uh, uh death or uh deadpool kills him mm-hmm. and the thing is each time she probably brings deadpool back mm-hmm. to her her dead realm or sure. whatever whatever sure, sure. just just uh, uh 
and so he would get to kind of see like he, right i killed your dracula for you <laughs> here you go okay now you got to kill this guy he's in milwaukee <laughs> go here do this and it's like and he finds him finds out they pretty much all identify as mutants at this point yeah so that's something um uh, the the, the oh, keep going sorry I but he yeah. kills mr he does eventually kill mr mortal he doesn't feel right about it because they seem to be good guys yeah but he kills them and they go back and the whole reason death wanted him to kill mr mortal is because uh, uh she had she she remembered a thing she forgot to tell him last time he was here that's it that's it does he because get to, does because he get to... he's gonna he's gonna resurrect yeah that's what mr yeah. mortal does yeah mr mortal dies he, he doesn't just stay alive oh, god he dies yeah and then he comes he is a corpse yeah and then he comes back to life so we get to see like flat man and doorman like crying over the body like big possibly Bertha well crying. they probably wouldn't they probably wouldn't even be crying over it because like, he's Mr. Immortal, they know he dies. They just drag him into the other back. room. Like, right? Deadpool would show up. They, they, maybe there's a fight or whatever, and mm-hmm. they kill Mr. Immortal. They go, ah, ah, not or like or right before he does it. Not over the carpet. Not over the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Deadpool fight the Great Lakes Avengers is a spectacle. Like that's funny mm-hmm. because they are the lamest. <laughs> they are so lame. They are the coolest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're the coolest. What no, I meant to they're, say. They're, I understand they're lame. Uh, but yeah, just getting Mr. Immortal into the void because she forgot to tell him something. Yeah. That's pretty, last time he was here. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I like that. Um, so next on the list is Madam Web, which connects us to the Spider-Man universe. And it's another pocket dimension uh, demigod type character. Okay. That... Uh, well, we don't know what Sony is. We don't even know oh, that Sony's going to do Madam Web at all. Right. Do we have access to Sony? I don't know how uh, uh, how that works for ancillary characters to Spider-Man. Okay. Right. Then- I feel like I I don't know why they did Zendaya as MJ. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's fine. It's a it's a cool casting, but I don't know if because they call her MJ, they don't call her Mary Jane. Right. I don't know if that's because they don't actually have the ability to use mary jane Damn, and then i don't, I don't know. know which villains that extends to okay so let's actually let's take madam web because they the have because they haven't repeated any villains that sony's done okay then I'll, i'm gonna take madam web out of the equation oh and i thought we, it was kind of cool because she sees the future and that's what death would have a problem with okay uh, do you think we can negotiate with sony to get a hold of madam web should we just imagine that we have end game money disney is all powerful we can get our hands on madam web if they get to make a Madam Web movie. Yes, they can still make their stupid <laughs> Madam Web movie. It, well, the thing is, we're now going to change the timeline in that the one that was made isn't what will be made. No, no, they'll because... still make that. It's Sony. It's Sony, Jim. It's Sony. <laughs> oh, there was... <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, because so... the other thing is, it's connected to Spider-Man, but I feel like... Uh, uh, all, like Spider-Man would never come up. It would only ever be Madam Web. Like mm-hmm. you're, what, what's what, what's with all the the the, the Spider Lady yeah. references here? Yeah. And and she's all like, I'm connected to a web of the 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 world and time and and, and, the, the, and yeah, like so, he can make Spider-Man references all day. It's long. almost like you can't say why you have a spider theme. It's almost if like contractually speaking, mm-hmm. you're limited at the scope at which you can talk about is arachno stuff. boy around here yeah, somewhere yeah you got a you got a little spider man i can't think of what i'm trying to say <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, just annoying her uh and then you think i don't know what you're doing but i know what you're doing oh because you can see the future i think that's why my friend death has a problem with you get over here you yeah and then that, he has that kind him, of thing has himself a mysterio fight where he has to go up against this like insanely powerful entity Mm-hmm. And then he's got to kill. <laughs> Does he manage to kill her? Yes. Isn't her whole thing she knows when she's going to die? Or was that just a thing for... Is is this it? Is this it? Is this one's going to happen? Was it this time? Is it this one? <laughs> Shut up! He He's going to be her. Okay. Um, And then... The, then her and oh, and then her con- death's conversation with Madame Webb actually could be: you're not meant for this universe. You mm. have somewhere else to be. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. And now that, Sony can do whatever they want. That, that's 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 Deadpool's comment to us: is like, well, now they oh. can do whatever they want with that character. <laughs> Glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> okay, so now next on the hit list here, 
Oh, before we go to the next on the hit list, after they attack Mr. Immortal, how about the Great Lakes Avengers are now trying to stop Deadpool? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because I, I do no, think... No, that's they're... perfect. <laughs> that gives him way more power. Uh, it, it boosts... Basically, the reason that they're able to jump to wherever wherever Deadpool appears mm-hmm. um, is because Doorman. It, it, we, we can just say he's able to make a door that then goes to there. Take me to Deadpool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they... they like, they do a thing as simple as they put a tracker on him <laughs> and like, how, how are you able to get across the world? I don't know, satellites or whatever. <laughs> we got a doorman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So having, having Mr. Sinister, that fight be a, just kick us off in this universe, dis- introducing us to this. Oh yes. Having Mr. Sinister go first solidifies and, 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 and solidifies mutants within this universe. Yep. Clearly solidifies with them. Yep. Going to Mr. Immortal next introduces us to the Great Lakes Avengers and now the antagonists to Deadpool. Yes. So then when he goes to fight Madam Web, uh, maybe wherever they start the fight is in reality and then they go outside of reality, whatever the case, the Great Lakes Avengers show up to bother Deadpool. Yeah. Okay, he goes back. So the next place he goes will lead us to another big fight sequence in this movie and the Great Lakes Avengers being involved in this fight and going up against a threat that could take on all these people at once. Okay. William Hurt is making a cameo as Thunderbolt Thaddeus Ross. <laughs> you're going to give me Red and you you're gonna are, give me Red And you're going to see Deadpool fight Red Hulk. And For our podcast, yes. I, I will allow it, but I feel like it that wouldn't be how... Uh, uh, Kevin Feige would approve Red Hulk showing up okay. in this universe, nor killing him. Okay, there has been a second Red Hulk, so okay. it doesn't. It can. It can assume like William Hurt can show up, and then we can assume it's Red Hulk. But there has been another ki- person who has been Red Hulk. Okay, so who that else could, was Red Hulk. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember the name. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to look this up. Thunderbolt Ross is like definitively the yeah. the number one. Red Hulk, like for sure, for sure. But there has been one. Other guy. Okay, you you vamp while I get this information. Um, Red Hulk sucks. He sucks. <laughs> he sucks so bad. I think it totally undermines the entire point of Thunderbolt <laughs> Ross as a villain to Hulk. And one could say, yeah, there's some decent drama in taking the man who stands in antithesis to a being and then giving him that being's existence. And there, sure, there's drama in that, but that is such short-sighted drama, um, and and robs the the greater story of the Hulk mm-hmm. of a true institution of a villain. Hell yes, there. Okay, I got my. Thing. That was great. <laughs> oh, vamp. That was really that good was? vamping. Okay. That was good. Okay, the origin of the second Red Hulk appears in 2017 debut issue of U.S. Avengers four star General Robert Maverick is selected for his genetic profile to create a being who is halfway to a Hulk. A device called the Hulk Plugin, created by Avengers Idea Mechanics, a legitimate technological company created from the defunct supervillain organization Remnants, is implemented into Maverick's wrist. When triggered, he turns into a variation of the Red Hulk for one hour, approximately every day and a half. Unlike the original Red Hulk, Maverick retains his mustache in his Hulk form and wears his sunglasses. He joins the U.S. Avengers, which is the bad version of the Avengers. So... Uh, so that brings up a point that I want to I want to uh, clarify. Yeah. It is specific. I don't hate the idea of Red Hulk. Yeah. It is specifically Thunderbolt Ross yes. being Red Hulk. Yes. I and I that's where I agree as well with with Red Hulk being Thunderbolt Ross. It's like it's like giving Lex Luthor Superman powers. Yes. You, you are you are undermining the point. Yes. So having William Hurt make a cameo, Red Hulk appear, and it end up being Robert Maverick. <laughs> Which is a great, stupid sure. name. Yeah. And having Deadpool fight the Red Hulk. Hey, red's my color. And <laughs> the Great Lakes Avengers getting their asses handed to them by sure. the Hulk. Just, and just having them. Yeah, that's not yeah. that's not bad. And then Deadpool. Uh, so I know you say that the Great Lakes Avengers are trash. The thing is, their powers. Th- this is the thing I come back to: is their powers, while gross and uh, uh, weird, uh, weird, <laughs> yeah. are not. They're they're not bad. They're they're actually effective. DC, I think, did did one which is uh, did their version, which is actually shitty powers. Mm-hmm. Um, like like 
things that cancel themselves or like hurt their own user. Like, yeah. but like, I I bring this up because one of the characters, Big Bertha, is basically a female blob. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to the point that like she has blob powers, and blob powers are not nothing. Blob can go up against the Hulk, mm-hmm. and that's what we're gonna get to see. Yes, yes, and and I I'm I'm making fun of the Great Lakes Avengers because they are a punchline. Yeah, but. They are the we got to see X Force in Deadpool it's, two. Like it's true. They, that it's, is that is a that is a perfect follow up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I I'm not sitting here and hating on these. I mean, characters. actually, to that end, and depending on the ending we go with here, Red Hulk could actually kill a couple of them. I I kind of think because this is Deadpool, he's got to. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you know, f- killing Mister Immortal in some sort of capacity might even happen here. But whatever, whatever the case. This is the this is a big throwdown. Well, I mean, no, Mister Immortal will die. That's what he does. But he won't. Mister Immortal doesn't stay dead. What he could do is he could actually rip Flatman in half. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> that would suck. He yeah. could he could actually like, despite Big Bertha having the powers of Blob, it might not be nearly as strong. So, despite her ability to take a hit and mm-hmm. like, uh, I don't know if it's exactly what Blob has, like, because Blob has gravity based powers. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she has that, uh, but uh, Red Hulk could could eviscerate her. He could. Yeah. Um, this think, this is our this is a bloody essay. Yeah, I think if anything, and maybe the fan. No, actually, I know the fans wouldn't like this. I'll make the suggestion anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, Squirrel Girl goes rage mode and ends up killing Red Hulk. By drowning him with squirrels. Oh, God. <laughs> now, I don't have Squirrel Girl on the roster here. I'm going original Great Lakes Avengers team. Oh, okay. Uh, but if you want to throw Squirrel Girl in here, I'm sure Anna Kendrick's available. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I also have a weirdly dark take on Squirrel Girl, so I might not be the one to write the final versions of her scenes. <laughs> um <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm in so far. I, okay. I, I like this idea. Uh, I I think this is like the Mister Sinister fights a one on one. The the fight scene in the Great Lakes Avengers Tower or whatever their mansion is. Okay, that's a bigger fight there. Their Madam Web is a very like Doctor Strange in the universe kind of fight. It's a big movie. Uh, the the Thunderbolt the Red Hulk fight I think is our biggest set piece. You We're not are. The, you are from Milwaukee. Yeah. You know it's not a tower. That <laughs> I know they it's have. not a tower. <laughs> um, no, it's the clock tower. It's the four face clock tower. The, oh, okay, that's, there, that's there. where I put it. Um, okay, so now facing off against the Red Hulk, I had here's I I have a notion of where to go from here, but I don't think this is the best climax to a film. There needs to uh, there, you we need a big final set piece for this movie. Okay. This is already a massive film. We're opening with Endgame. We have we've had one, two, three, four big fights at this point. Mm-hmm. I know Deadpool is a pretty contained, low budget. The first two we've seen, but we're it's the third one. We're going big. I'm in the MCU now. Attitude yeah. here. Yeah, we, this has MCU money. Uh, here, the fourth target. This is expected to make a billion dollars. Yes. So. Yeah. Fourth target is Charles Xavier. Okay. And and we can have the joke of like, oh, another one of you. <laughs> yep. Uh, and. Deadpool is going to fight Charles, but before he gets a chance, he's pulled away by Uatu, the Watcher. Okay. And now, oh gosh, what is this? Not, like, not by death this time, but Uatu exists outside of death's purview and realm. And Uatu is going to have a conversation with Wade Wilson about who he is, his place in the universe, who Deadpool is, what's his place in the universe. This could be our introduction to the multiverse. This is what this movie's done. Okay. It's introduced us to the multiverse. Sure. And Uatu talking to Deadpool and saying, like, this is an info dump kind of moment here. Okay. There is a trick I want to do okay. here as well. I want, when he when he gets snapped to wherever he's at, mm-hmm. um, there's no one there. And so he starts breaking the fourth wall. Okay. And then the camera does a trick where Deadpool is looking at the camera. Yeah. And then... Uh, uh, he starts kind of tur- the world kind of the camera moves and away from where he's lo- looking. Yes, and it turns and Deadpool is talking to Uatu. Oh, so so the audience a... has always been Uatu. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and so they, but they, it doesn't finish there. And Deadpool's not going to put up with that. He's yeah. like, no, you're not who I've been talking to. 
I've been talking to them. And then he points and at he us. And he turns, he points at us, and the camera does the trick again and watches says, yes, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. So you know about them out there as well? No. Don't, the, don't worry about them. Little... Them is me. No, them is them. I are they. No, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> where are my babies? Where are my little, um, where, where, where's my wonderful friends? Uh, uh, but I, I want to insinuate that fourth wall breaks are... Aruatu. Maybe that's too much. Maybe that's ruining a, a, a fun thing. I, I do think um, it risks ruining a fun thing, but if it's acknowledged, like if Deadpool says, I haven't been talking to you, I've been talking to them, and then he breaks the fourth wall a different way. Mm-hmm. He's like, ooh, did I just, are there two fourth walls? Is this a fifth or a sixth wall? Now I'm confused. Who am I talking to? Don't worry, I'm still talking to you guys. But I'm also talking to you apparently this whole time. But don't worry, I have been talking to you too. You're my friends. What's this deal? What's going on? Um, okay, then, then I, I guess what, then I, I guess I'd be okay with saying that Uatu, um, will then say yes, or or I I want him to be the audience. The audience can be a separate thing as well, but I, I want him to almost be like, say like a godlike thing. Like they are me and I am them. Yes. That's, Uh, we, we, we exist, exist together. They are separate from me yet not. Listen, uh, my big headed friend, people hated this in Matrix Reloaded. I don't think they're loving it now. (laughs) Concordantly. (laughs) Concordantly. Um, Vis-a-vis. Where's Will Ferrell? And, uh, one of the reasons I want to do that is that's one of the ways he 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 gets talked out of killing mm-hmm. Uatu is because it's explained to him. And one of the reasons death wants Uatu killed. Uh, it, but like ever, all of this stops as much as Thanos destroyed your universe. Yes, I saw that. Um, it the, the the what was is still there. If you kill me, nothing will be. There will be no more of any of this as there will be no more of as you call it a movie. <laughs> Could death's goal the entire time by going after Sinister, Mr. Immortal, Madam Web and Ross, while she does hate them because they cannot die, is her ulterior motive to get the attention of Uatu, especially going after Charles Xavier, who is going to be a critical piece of this universe going forward that Uatu finally intervenes which was death's plan the whole time. Maybe. And then, and then Uato can explain what, you know, in mm-hmm. the, uh, architect fashion. What do you think about the idea of death acknowledging the fourth wall? Like she breaks it a little bit. She doesn't do what Deadpool does, mm-hmm. but like a whole, Oh, you're here. I at uh, at so basically yeah. plant the seeds early on that she also can break that well, oh no that that Uatu is watching oh. and that's so she seemingly breaks the fourth wall like Deadpool talking to us but she's actually looking at Uatu because Uatu is us right but we are also ex- we also still exist correct I don't want it to suggest that Deadpool's only been talking to the Watcher the whole time correct yes correct okay okay but having Madam Web fourth wall break she's actually talking to the Watcher. Like I know you're here. I know you're oh, watching. Oh, Madam Web. Oh, sure. No, no, God, not Madam Web. Death, 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 yes. death, death. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh, I'm tempted to make Phoebe Waller Bridge death, since <laughs> she has such a history of breaking the fourth wall. In Fleabag, sure. <laughs> and she's just lovely with that British accent. That, uh, 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 uh not contradictory. Uh, um, defiantly. <clears throat> uh, uh, basically, I was on board, like. Uh, she would she would be pretty good, and then you said because she has a history of doing. It, I was like, no, <laughs> no, someone else, someone else, doesn't matter. Okay, Watto runs it all down for for Wade. Death mm-hmm. still has her promise to live up to. I, um, okay, let let's let me step back for a second. Oh shit! Actually, by making Uatu the audience and part of the audience. He can give Deadpool this kill. He can say, "Look, I want you to understand what this is and how it is. Mm-hmm. To truly kill me, you have to, you have to kill the fourth wall." Oh wow! I believe for Death's purposes, this will will suffice. suffice. And so when he take he so he kills Uatu, and then. Like he turns to the fourth wall and, and like th- I don't know something to to acknowledge that Uatu dies, but Uatu has more than one 
uh, body essentially more yeah. more than one. Well, uh, if we incarnation, if, not incarnation. No, no, no. Uh, you're onto something there, because if we use Mister Immortal to explain the science behind immortality, okay, we can give that to Oato as well. We're basically creating a rule that we can then use later. If if Mister Immortal dies but will forever exist, something similar can exist with Uatu. Oh, I see what you're saying. But whereas when Mister Immortal dies, he passes to the other plane and then back again, mm-hmm. uh, Uatu will. Will not pass on to the next plane. He will. He will die, yeah. but he is eternal. Yeah. Some something like that. If we can, we can use Mister Immortal to set the rule that Uatu then uh, basically utilizes, breaks. Well, breaks. utilizes and also breaks. Yeah. 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 But we've explained how and why he is able to do such. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, when Deadpool then takes that body to death, death can seem satisfied at first, mm-hmm. but ultimately, like. Maybe that's where death starts because we have one more. No, that's it. That's Char- it. Charles was the so, was the fifth target. So, uh, basically, that that's where it becomes bar games and everyone's playing bar games against each other. Right. Like Deadpool can be like, I technically did it because uh, uh, death can acknowledge the audience and be like, they're they're right there. They're though. St- I'm still looking you, right at them. Yeah, you uh, 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 you didn't do it at all. Like, no, I did. Look, there, there he is. is. Look at his big giant head. Yeah. How are you going to mistake this big giant head for anyone else? Yeah. Maybe Tim Blake Nelson. <laughs> uh, I like that reference. <laughs> um, uh, 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 some something like that, and that's re- that's where then she gives in and like, fine, you did technically do the job. So, so I will technically, technically give you your family. Yay. Wait a minute. Some, some, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's being a, a trickster to each other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he doesn't get the Xavier kill. Is that okay? Oh, if he, if he, ju- if the whole goal, if, if he skips Xavier, but comes back with Uato and that's who she wanted ultimately all along, uh, she can be okay with Xavier, right? Maybe we can, we can find a way to, to let her let that one slide. Maybe. Particularly if her motive the whole time was to get to Uatu, get to Uatu, then skipping over Charles, she can be okay with. Uh, okay. For now, I'm, we can if, we can find a better reasoning for it, yeah. but yeah, that, that if works If we're playing technicalities, now. at least two other Charles Xavier's are dead right now. Patrick Stewart and James McAvoy. <laughs> Right, because they died in the other. Uh, but that, that, yeah, yeah. Ma- like maybe that's how she she tries she tries to say something like, ah, that doesn't that doesn't feel really well, Deadpool, but th- yeah. The there's a there's a one final moment here though that we need to consider here. Okay, this is this the a good climax to this movie? That I the don't biggest no the biggest fight we saw was Red Hulk. That's twenty minutes ago. Vis a vis concordantly. <laughs> no, I think the fight with Xavier can be pretty big. Okay. Like he. He uh, all that needs to happen is that he doesn't kill Charles. Right. Um, having I would it'd be cool to have uh, Charles not be an octogenarian <laughs> and having that fight like that throwdown um, exist with this young like younger new like even if it's Ma- McAvoy age McAvoy's in his forties right like having just making that fight if that fight begins and then it freezes. And then Deadpool is plucked by Uatu. And, or even if they have their conversation walking around this like battle sequence before death is, is entered into the equation. Or do we want to see death throw some punches here? Does, does Deadpool have to fight her? I don't know. Oh, as far as who plays death, sorry, you, uh, you started casting. I actually was thinking uh, she takes the, the visage of Vanessa. Of Vanessa, yeah, that's fun. That's that's fun, uh, right? Because uh, we we do she, um, she does death does love Deadpool. We 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 want that, right? We want her to be infatuated with him, right? And so one of the ways she tries to entice him back is by is looking by taking, like yeah. the love of his life. Yeah, that's cool. I, I can dig that. Plus, it gets Maria Baccarin in the movie, and she's mm-hmm. a very lovely. Yeah. Um, but it, having no final punch him up. That's that's the that is my concern right now as far as this Deadpool movie is concerned. We've we've loaded this movie with fight sequences. Wonder Woman needs to fight war. That's kind sorry. Of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, she did that. Yeah. That yeah. Um, I, Deadpool could even comment on that of like, 
boy, we're really into this movie with that one final fight sequence. I feel like that's going to disappoint a few people. Um, could, uh, could she offer him? Like, I'll give you your family back and... Uh, is there anything else you want? He's like, I'd like to kill the, I'd like to kill the grimace guy. You want to fight Thanos? Ah, uh, that feels that that that. I it's a fight. There's no stakes in it. Right. Okay. Um. He could fight death, right? Like it, it could be a final a, a fight of death. It's a fight, fight to the a fight to the, and of death. Yeah. Um. A fight with death. Uh. I'll, okay, alternatively, uh, another idea would be sending him back and the Great Lake Avengers fight him one more time. That doesn't that feels repetitive. That feels like going back to the well of, of a fight we've already seen. Um, yeah, th- this is my only concern right now. I like everything we've got. We have here. This is this is mm-hmm. a badass movie. <laughs> this is a cool fun. It feels Deadpooly. It's 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 checking off a lot of boxes. But, but not having one big final fight. If five, we've had five fights in this movie. Six, if you count our our opening with the end game style battle. I don't. I don't see that being very long and much no, of a battle. No, 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 no. That's that's flashes of stuff. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Um, five proper fights in this movie. It's about how you begin and end it. The make it epic make to it reference epic. a movie that we haven't talked about at all during this <laughs> thing. Um, but always worth referencing. It's Furiosa. Yeah. For those of you who... You should know that. Yeah. Um, that That's my main concern is that we don't have a final fight here. Let, let's just move into that final moment where he does get his family back, but he's on the MCU's turf. Like he's on the MCU. Like she sends him back there. Because she's not going to resurrect an entire universe. That's a lot of souls that she was able to collect. Why would she do that? I was never going to. Is do death that. in it for the souls? She How does it, death work? Death is in it for the death. Oh. So like, just her whole thing is like, I told you I'd give you your family back. I never promised I'd give you your universe back. And then you can have your gag about like, but my extended family is this and this. And mm-hmm. the, uh, uh, do we don't... like? Do we like that? Like, I feel like that's one of those ideas that sounds really cool at first when first pitching it. I don't mm. know if it's appropriate to 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 the the full story we're trying to tell here yeah i as at the very least having colossus negasonic right. yuki vanessa mm. weasel dopinder um wolverine and wolverine and cable yeah cable and then surprise like give me wolverine if there's oh god the ramification. Well, no, I, I, I also think that the names he would go on to. He would name the Great Lakes Avengers that just died. Oh. He would name X, uh, X Force. Oh yeah, he bring, would. Uh, uh, he would do a bunch of that. Bring back. They didn't even die in that. They're still my family. They're still my family. I'll bring back uh, um, Russell. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Like just, and that, maybe that like listing those characters, and then there's a, and then a few more of these characters, and it's like, all right, is that are you done? Hmm. I'm sure I could think of a few more. I'll get back to you. And Francis. What? Yes. Even Francis. Even Francis. And he pops in and he cuts, cuts his, his head, head off. off. <laughs> 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 that was great. Yeah. That's in there. That's um, in there. Uh, sure. I like, I'm, I'm good. I don't have, I don't have a better ending right now. Yeah. Um, I think, I think there is a better ending out there. Well, that's what I got right are now. You, are you suggesting like for the climactic final battle as an ending or both? Because I do think this, I, I think there should be a final fight. I don't know what that is. Same. I do think her monkey pawing him and giving his family back and him saying this person, this person, this person, he's on earth. No, it, well, yes. He's on MCU, yeah. uh, MCU my, earth. My problem with like in the monkey paw thing is fun and good in the short term for the ending of this for the larger, grander MCU, I don't think it's interesting because, although it matches up with how Marvel Comics works, but um, I mean, if you think about it, like, oh, what's Iron Man's origin? Iron's Man, Iron Man's origin is he was the son of a, a weapons builder, and he got taken prisoner, and he made a super suit, and he he gave it to the bad guys, and it turned out the bad guys were in his inner circle, and he mm-hmm. gave it to them too. Mm-hmm. Cool. What's Colossus's origin? Oh, he's a mutant from another world, and he died, and he was wished into this one. Yes. 
oh, okay, that's weird. What about Negasonic Teenage Warhead? What's her origin? Same thing. Same, same thing. thing. Yeah. And and like it's the it's going to be the same thing for like fifty people. Well, I I mean that you're picking the number fifty. I'm I'm thinking twelve. Like hey, it doesn't have. And besides, there's a thousand characters in the MCU. If a couple of them have a shitty origin story. <laughs> Okay, but we're we're not making. Yes, if the couple people are Dopinder, uh, uh, Weasel, uh, Weasel, Vanessa. Uh, yeah, if it's them, fine. But making it uh, uh, well, beloved characters like Wolverine. Okay, I'll give you that. That if we just pop Wolverine into existence, we undermine a lot of his import. So that oh boy, that's a conflict in there. But at the same time. Having a character be able to say, I had a whole life before I appeared here. <laughs> That's worth it to you? No, it's to not. To make a reference to no. a movie that won't come out no. for another no. four years, no. three years? No, no. <laughs> I take your point that dropping oh, no, that in. Was, that was before. Then. So instead of instead of him wishing Wolverine, just have him wish Hugh Jackman into existence. <laughs> That's it. And, and Australian's darling sweetheart, actor Hugh Jackman. Good day. <laughs> so all that there is also a fun to have with death putting him back in his world mm-hmm. and him waking up in a bed and everyone's around him and him saying I had a the craziest dream and none of you were there <laughs> you weren't there and, and you, you weren't, weren't there, there and you weren't there <laughs> and you tin man being colossus <laughs> yeah. you weren't there you weren't there that is funny you know how I feel about all the dream <laughs> stuff it makes my blood but, boil, like sure. you and the Red Hulk. <laughs> sure, but, sure, but, sure, but, um, that's an awesome Wizard of Oz reference. I, I, having them all, having him ask, we could still have that. You can have your cake and <laughs> actually, eat it that'd be a great stinger because that's how cake works. <laughs> having him wake up in the MCU proper and having that moment of them all around him, like you weren't there, you weren't there, um. Maybe there's even a chance to reference the Return of the King where everyone jumps on the bed. Like Dopinder can jump in like Sam and like in slow-mo and be like, get off me. Um, but also, yeah. Yeah, I think we can have that as well as everything else. Um, but not making it back on his his MCU or not in his universe in the MCU. I I think this ends with Deadpool and those couple of characters from the Deadpool movies that matter in the MCU. I know that sucks to take Colossus's beautiful origin story away, but he's one of many. <laughs> don't, ca- <laughs> don't minimize my uh, uh, concern about character stories. Okay. Okay. It's, it's brand new day. How would you feel if that's what happened with Spider-Man? Who? Arachno boy. Oh, okay. Um, if that happened to him, uh, I'd hate it because Brand New Day is one of the worst things that's happened to Spider-Man. <sighs> However, these characters can retroactively exist in this universe with their origin stories. They don't just pop into this universe. They pop into a universe they've always existed in kind of thing. If that's I mean, the- then we got to explain that. I'm going to actually... I'm going to double down on my Wizard of Oz story. And, oh. I hate okay. dream scenarios. Right, right. Come back, come back. Okay, okay. Yeah, you hate dream scenarios. It wasn't a dream. That wasn't my point. Okay, okay. It was just to make a Wizard of Oz joke. Okay. Literally, death puts him back in his world, rebuilds his world. Ah, but then now, how do we put him in the MCU? He doesn't go to the MCU. Well, then that completely defeats the purpose of what the goal no, of this is. No, we put him in the MCU. We just took him back Took him out. back. And what it's done is it's introduced the multiverse. Oh, okay. All right. You got okay. I'm nodding. You you've satisfied me. Thank you. That's that is the yes, we've introduced the multiverse. Yeah, sorry. Like like you started saying, I hate dream sequences. Yeah, I did not I'm, I apologize. I did not mean to suggest, oh, this whole thing was a dream. Okay. I just wanted to make the Dorothy joke. Got it. I follow everything you're doing here now, and you are correct. We have just we have opened up the multiverse. We've introduced the multiverse. Phase four can begin with Deadpool. And we can even do it, uh, whether it's someone that we have met or we do a whole new character like, uh, um, what's her name? America Chavez. Yeah. Uh, do a do a whole Back to the Future ending where someone pops in and says, are Deadpool. you Deadpool? You've got to come I need me. your help in another universe. 
Yeah, and that could be a cameo from Doctor Strange. Or that hasn't or, happened yet when this oh, when right, this right. movie we're making. Yeah. Uh, yeah, No Way Home hasn't happened yet. Have yeah, having some known character <gasps> pop up. Gwenpool. Oh God, Emma Stone shows up and is like, <laughs> "Come with me, please." <laughs> okay, it's happening. We just introduced <laughs> Gwenpool, everyone. <laughs> um, because if I if I'm if. I remember correctly, that's sort of Gwenpool's thing. She has Deadpool-like stuff, mm-hmm. but it's not that she's immortal. She, like, jumps universes. Okay. So having... Um, uh, is that... Is that... Is she... <gasps> Gwenpool shows up with uh, 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 Marvel Zombies Deadpool's severed head. Oh, yes! Oh, man. <laughs> and... And an animated... Some, an animated character. So we're going to beat... We're going to beat... Uh, uh, when did Into the Spider-Verse go? Into the Spider-Verse to the punch? <laughs> like Spider pig, spider Ham shows up too. Uh, no, Sp- uh, Into the Spider-Verse came out in 2018, so the same year as Deadpool 2. Oh. But, no, no, Sony's not going to let us get away with that. No. Nope. Sorry. Sony's not going to let us do it. But, yes, having some post credit sequence, having uh, Mobius show up. I know Loki hasn't existed yet, but it's in production at the time of this movie. So having sure. the TVA show up to be like, excuse me, Mr. Deadpool, we'd like I to th- have a conversation with you. I, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Right, because they mess with the multiverse. That's not bad. Like if if there were if there were was like a tease about that, that's that's not terrible. Still like my Gwenpool idea. <laughs> Sony's not gonna allow it, man. Why would Sony care about Gwenpool? That's a Spider Man character. Is Gwenpool? Ooh, you know what? I don't know, actually. Maybe. A portal opens up and a character comes out and yeah. rec- it says, Deadpool, you got to come with me. It's We're a gonna, zany character. Yeah, of back some to the kind. future to this. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Deadpool 3. <laughs> he. Dead, and it's kind of playing with the whole Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, which mm-hmm. is, you know, people love that comic. Honestly, that's the comic that turn Deadpool into what he is now. Like uh, like mm. Deadpool being the Rob Liefeld version of the character, then becoming the Merc with the mouth, came around the time of Deadpool kills the MCU, or kills the Marvel Universe. Sure. So having him trounce around, and all signs point to that being what's going to happen in the actual Deadpool 3, Deadpool Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, but for now, this is uh, 2020. We beat it to the punch by uh, four years. Yeah. We created... Uh, by the demands of uh, which which studio? Uh, Red Red Pants Production Studios. Red Pants Production. Yeah, Phil, Phil, how did we do? Huh? Uh, uh, and also the meta demand itself. How did we do? Please let me know. Demand. Uh, but we want to know if we met your demand today. Uh, hit us up if you agree or disagree. If you missed, if we missed something, surely we missed something. There's a lot of fun to be had here. Uh, what do you What do you think of our of what we done here. So of what we done here, Jim, I'm going to wrap up the episode. You can message us directly at studio demands Uh, I have been plugging the Instagram. Yeah. And realizing yeah, I got to save it. I got to save it for, yeah, sorry. Had oh, an idea. Got to oh, save it. Got it. I, I do recall, or I've been plugging Instagram and I realized it hasn't been updated in a while. We will get on that. Thank you for those who have let us know. If you are not already, you can subscribe to us on your podcatcher of choice. And if you feel like giving us a little review, come on, You've listened to this many episodes. Just throw a five star at us. You can do that in app. It shows. It gets us out there in the algorithm. You can find us on YouTube and TikTok, where we post video content, including material not heard here on the show. Jim, yeah, what do you do? You doing? can uh, you can go to r slash studio demands it on Reddit and uh, uh, talk to us there. I also need to up that update that more uh, frequently as well, as well as Discord. Whoop, whoop. Um, you can come. Uh, uh, Find the invite, the perma invite on our webpage, studiodemandsit.com. At the top, there is a link to Discord. Come join the Discord page where we also uh, need to update more and have more conversations. <laughs> but that's um, going to, that more conversations will be had with people come on over true. there. Uh, if you want even more con- more from us, you can go to Patreon for a couple bucks a month. You can get episodes early as well as extended double length episodes. Jim and I did, a, what, a 45 minute conversation before this episode began about. Just about nothing. About we <laughs> talked no, about not, not nothing. But. 90s cinema and the the nature of how pop culture has evolved 
based on what are the highest grossing movies of all time for each decade. You can also get movie commentary tracks in. You can also show some love by just subscribing for free. So thank you to 6.5 Media for everything they do for us. Please check out the other 6.5 shows. GM, unless you got something else. I was just uh, doubling up on reasoning why Gwenpool is a good idea. (laughs) And it's because uh, it introduces the multiverse, introduces jumping through the multiverse, and doesn't negate or undo anything that Disney then went and did for a multiverse. It just suggested... Deadpool can and will be traveling through it in the future. So so you're suggesting there might be a chance that this movie does not could fit between Deadpool 2 and Deadpool and Wolverine? Like Oh, I, no, I wasn't suggesting that. Okay, just um, that it doesn't undermine Loki or WandaVision or It doesn't undermine Multiverse any of the shows or any of the Kang related stuff or anything right. like that. Ah, uh, Kang. <laughs> um yeah. Cool. All right, well, that does it for this episode. We will be back again soon with another one of your demands to challenge ourselves to, you know, do what we do, to tell stories and make movies and all that. So thanks for listening. I'm TC. I'm Jim. Stay safe. Please be kind to yourself. Stay Jim. And to others. (laughs) Thank you, everyone. Bye.